Exactly a year ago, I was at Token Summit and I talked about the Avalanche Consensus Protocol. And uh, I'm here again uh, to talk to you about what has happened in the years since then. But before I do that, let me sort of go all the way back to the inception of the distributed systems area and give you a sort of a brief overview of where we are, what's happening in general, and position ourselves. So the area's inception goes back to the 70s, and two people played a key role, Leslie Lamport and Barbara Liskop. They're both PhDs, and they both have Turing Awards, very well-deserved ones. And they established their family of protocols that we see deployed in uh, permissioned consensus, uh, permissioned blockchains and per permissioned consensus protocols. So these are uh, protocols that we call classical, and uh, these dominated the scene for about 30 years or so. And in 2009, Satoshi Nakamoto came by, he looked at these protocols and said, these are too fragile, and they don't allow open participation. So I won't be able to build a public blockchain with them, and he came up with his own protocol known as the, the uh, Satoshi Nakamoto protocol, uh, based on the longest chain rule. So this, of course, has served us very well for the last 10 years, except, of course, we're seeing now it putter out. We're seeing its scalability problems, we're seeing the, the leak of value from the ecosystem. And last year, a team that's called, that calls itself uh, Team Rocket, uh, nemesis of, uh, of uh, Satoshi and Pokemon, came up with a new protocol called Avalanche. Avalanche combines the best of both worlds. It's robust, like Satoshi Nakamoto's protocol. Uh, it's uh, scalable, like none other. And it has quick finality, about a second of finality. Uh, within a second, things are confirmed forever. It has very high throughput. It is very lightweight. It's sustainable. You do not have to pay an arm and a leg to power companies. You do not have to leak value from your store of value. And it's a fairly easy, elegant protocol. I'm not going to get into the details of the protocol. The question, of course, has been for the last year, well, look, this is obviously a revolutionary thing of the kind that happens once every 15 years or so, empirically, you know, 45 years only three times. Well, what do you do with it? What's the token like that you build on top? And I want to give you a brief glimpse of what we've been building. What we're building is a platform called AVA, and it's really a platform of platforms. So my main lesson, the latent message here is not only is the core revolutionary, but the actual design of the token is itself also revolutionary. Everybody else in this business has this mindset that you build one token with one scripting language with one network. And then, of course, they get into debates about the capabilities of that network. You know, if, if the network has Luke Jr.'s nodes on it in the swamps of Florida, then what can you afford? How big can you make the block size, et cetera, et cetera? And you go down into a morass out of which nobody emerges unscathed. In AVA, we are building a platform of platforms. What does that mean? It means that anybody can issue a digital asset. Each of those digital assets can actually make use of different scripting languages and different virtual machines. And these things are supported by a variety of, of uh, nodes with differing capabilities. So uh, you can have a heterogeneous network that is all together tied by the AVA framework. This can accommodate millions of participants, and each and every one of the participants can actually play the role that Jihan Wu plays for, uh, for Bitcoin in, in terms of serializing transactions. We've now implemented the core of this protocol with staking, minting, time locks, multi-sig, and layer two support and atomic swaps. Uh, we have uh, planned support for private smart contracts because it's a, it's a platform of platforms, because this thing is something kind of like a construction kit, a Lego, if you will, for digital assets. You can easily have, for example, your own token that is corresponding to, uh, let's say, uh, things like uh, private data, that is kept on a set of nodes that uh, are trustless and working in a trustworthy way but without having to be trusted, that hold private information and respond to queries on a blockchain. This enables a whole slew of applications on top. And uh, the system uh, provides governance for key system parameters. Crucial things like the minting rate uh, can be modified uh, with user uh, if there is social consensus. So we're building and, and ready now, this is my big announcement for today, for a private testnet. This is called the Alpine Snowstorm. It supports payments, digital assets, and governance. And those of you who are interested in what I'm about to show you should feel free to get in touch with me. I want to show you a quick video of what, uh, what this system looks like. That's our uh, Genesis Vertex. This is the system in production. Uh, we made this movie last night. 
It's offering security that is stronger than bitcoins. So finality is probabilistic in our world, but the chance of reversion is even lower than bitcoins. Um, and you're seeing here, I think we just blew through the three TPS. We're approaching Ethereum speeds right now, 12 TPS. I think you can see that on the left-hand side over there. And, uh, and it's very, very, very fast. The math does really work out. The announcement I made last year is going to be borne out in a second, okay, so now this is 30 transactions per second. I'll remind you that for the longest time there was this question of can we meet Visa's speeds? Can we reach 2,000 TPS? So I wonder why, I wonder if we can. And I suspect that with the right number, oh, there we go, 5,000 and so on. So um, this is happening with 1,000 nodes deployed on uh, Amazon. So. Uh, Oh, well, yeah, I should also mention that the user, user interface can't keep up with what's happening, so we stopped it. But you can, see the, you can see the bar graph continue over there. This is just one run. We've actually done bigger runs uh, that exceed 10,000 transactions per second. So, um, okay, once again, to wrap up, we're building a new type of blockchain platform for payments, digital assets, and smart contracts. And um, at the core of this lies this innovative consensus protocol that provides unprecedented decentralization. It admits millions of participants to play a role in the protocol, provides very high security and immutability. It provides very high performance and scale. So those of you with demanding needs should come to us. But not only that, at the next level up, we have an innovative system model that is not shared by anyone else. In particular, we have this platform of platforms idea where if your nodes need special things, like if if your nodes require extra storage, if your smart contracts are large, or if your smart contracts need privacy guarantees, we can support all of those. We also have other innovations further up the stack that I'm not going to talk about that we will make public when the mainnet time comes. And uh, they relate to things like security, user interface, usability, uh, and ease of uh, introducing people uh, to the system. Uh, if you want to get in contact with us, uh, please come and join our Telegram group uh, or, uh, or uh, follow us on Twitter or, uh, or contact us through this email, contact at avalabs.org. Thank you so much.